Hey, what's up guys, Lily here, and today I'm doing a draw my life. Now, don't just click off the screen because I know I've already done one of these, but today I'm doing an updated. Heck with that. So yeah, I'm going to start way back from the beginning. Don't mind that. Anyways, let's get to it. So it all started with my mom, if I can even draw her. And my dad. This is gonna be really tacky. I am not an artist. Well, I kind of am. But not like one of those super gifted artists. When I say artist, I mean I love to draw. <laughs> he has no feet. So, on May 30th, 2003, my mom was a single Pringle. Actually, no. She was a single Pringle a long time before that. But basically, nine months before May 30th, my mom went to this place where she could have a baby even if she was a single Pringle. She wanted a child. She was pregnant. Look at those feet. And she ended up being pregnant. Yay! Yay, Mom! So this is the one where on May 30th, she gave birth to twins. This is really crappy. Don't unsubscribe, please. She gave birth to twins. Neely and Zoe. And apparently Neely had a really big head, but I'm not going to draw that. And on August... August... Mom and Dad, don't yell at me if I got this, if I got this wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the 21st. <sighs> my mom got married to my dad. That's a ring right there. There. How's that? <laughs> Look at those feet. Uh... Honestly, I can't remember the year this happened. Oh, 2006. Oh, rip. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. All right. Okay, what was I going to do for this? Oh no. And sometime in December two thousand seven, I bet. Unless I was born early. My mom unfortunately got sick. So she thought. <laughs> um. Or so she thought.
pizza or so she thought. That's really gross. But. She was gonna have a little baby. But more about that later. <laughs> more about that later. This is her crazy hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Alright. If I got this right, Neely and Zoe did not want a sister. And on August 18th, 2008, a little baby girl was born. And apparently I was put into a straight jacket. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? I think I was trying to draw some sort of bundling. Now I'm in a straight jacket. Look at that. <laughs> I'm, I hate myself. Uh. So apparently I was born with a full head of hair. If you see pen settings come up a lot, it's because I'm doing this on my phone and that's why it's so crappy. But in the long run, August 18th was the day the world became amazing. Because my sisters ended up liking me. For some time, anyways. <laughs> what is this? What is my life right now? I'm just trying to draw my life out for people. And I'm already on the 12th one. <laughs> and I'm on the 12th one, and I'm only doing this. Can you not, phone? All right. I really hope this is actually recording. I was maybe six months old when I learned to walk. Look at that. Look at that mouth. Maybe six months old, I can't remember. But what I do remember is that when I learned to talk, I was actually in the bathtub. Mom can't remember my first word, but Dad says that the first word he ever heard me say was Dada. Like I said, I was in the bath. I drew me in pink so he could recognize me from everyone else. So Mom was giving me a bath, blah, blah, blah. Dad came in. To the bathroom. Oh, that's a really nice color. I should have used that instead of the salmon pink. But whatever. Dad came in. And I yelled, 
Dada. It looks like Dada. There you go, Dada. After that, it just kept ex expelling. Excelling, expelling, I don't know. I'm not good at grammar. But according to my parents, I was a really fast reader, and according to my parents, I was reading chapter books in kindergarten. So that's me reading in my kindergarten class. I loved to draw. I loved the pretty whiteness of the paper, the wooden feeling of the pens, the wooden feeling of the pencil. I loved the pencil. I also, sometimes, after school, I would go up in my room, and I would act like I was a fashion model. That's me doing duck lips. That looks really hilarious. I love to get dressy and just try things out. I remember when I was little, I wanted to be a model when I grew up. And I remember my sisters were not too hot on the idea. I remember one time I was pretending to model, and I heard my sister yell. I can't remember which one, but I remember that she yelled, STOP! You're not a model! But, I never gave up. It was around this time that I got my first cat. Her name was Mama, and she was shy. If I can even get her nose in there. Whatever. But I remember sometimes she would come in and watch me pretend to be a model. Around first grade, I got the second cat. And his name was Patches. He and Mama don't really like each other, but I don't care. They're my babies. I'm going to draw patches in blue, light blue. That's just a random, heck with this thing. But I remember that Patches would come in, and he would just sit his little and then down on the floor. He would come into my room, and he would watch me be a model. And he never made any objections about it. And I got better. And my eyelashes grew longer. And I can tell that Patches, even though he's a cat, he's one of my biggest fans today. Oh, look at those feet. So I learned new poses. But I always stuck to duck lips. I learned how to walk like a model. 
My sister called it the cupcake walk. Where you'd put your hands out and you would kind of sway your hips as you went. It's pretty cool. Let's move on to when I was in about second grade. For some reason, this hit me super hard. But all my cousins moved away to Utah. I didn't expect it to hit me as hard as it did. But it was not a good time for me. Then I found YouTube. But the thing was, YouTube wasn't really my thing yet. I watched a couple videos a day, maybe. But let's go back to when I was in the first grade. Let's talk about my social life. So I was a loner. I thought I was ugly. I thought I wasn't cute because some of the girls I saw, they were wearing makeup already. That's lipstick. And they were wearing poofy dresses. And they could do the cupcake walk better than me. So I consider myself to be ugly. I still went on trying to be a model. Let me reset. Let me try that again. Then one time I remember I was trying to do it. I was trying to do like the pose and I fell over. And it really hurt. I remember not telling anyone about it. The tears kept coming. But I didn't actually cry. It didn't hurt that bad. I just fell on a Barbie. I, st I really don't understand why I was even crying. It didn't hurt that bad. But I remember looking at Patches and he had, like, the weirdest expression on his face. And I bet he was thinking I was an idiot. Idiot. I, I can't even spell idiot right. But I think that experience was something that made me stronger. It made me stronger. If I can't even write it. What the heck is that? So yeah, and I moved through the grades, and like I said, when my cousins moved away, it hit me really hard. Why is my forehead so big? And of course it hit me super hard, even though I wasn't close to them at all. Well, I was kind of close, but not that close. I remember I would sometimes cry my eyes out. Not literally. But yeah, I remember sometimes I would cry my eyes out.
Anyways. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. So we moved on to third grade. And a new addition came into our house. But more about that later. The cousins came back for a visit. And at this point, I just had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And my cousin Aiden got me into watching this YouTube channel called DanTDM. I loved it. I love the diamond that he would show. I loved. I loved it. <laughs> but I still didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, and that was okay. So soon after that, we got a puppy. She's really derpy. <laughs> we called her Roxy. Well, we didn't call her. Yeah, we did. We got another puppy because she needed a friend. Her name was Mia, and she's also really derpy. And at this time, my love for drawing just became more and more. I, I love the color of the paper. I love to see all the different types that there were. I loved it. At this point in time, I wasn't really the shy girl I used to be. A couple people, sometimes when I was drawing out at recess, because that's the only thing I did, it took my mind off everything that was happening. With my cousins going back and the dogs were just overwhelming. Drawing sometimes helped to take my mind off that. And sometimes people would look at me at recess and think, and I felt like they were thinking, man, that's just dumb. So this was a time that I went back into that shy phase. I had a couple friends who still recognized me, and they recognized me for my talents. So yeah, my friends would recognize me for my talents and stuff. And I began to grow more confident in myself. I started wearing t-shirts instead of dresses and shorts during the summer instead of pants. I got stronger. But then that time again came. My grandma passed away. This is probably actually around second grade, but whatever. I don't even know what that is. And of course I fell into a really, really deep depression. I didn't run around and play outside like I used to. I didn't go insane whenever I saw pencil and paper lying around.
I started hanging out with friends that weren't really the best influence on me. And I did stuff that they did to fit in. I wore ugly clothes. And I didn't listen to other people's opinions. At all. I didn't listen to them at all. But then my friends, then my so-called friends left me just out in the cold. So one night there was a party and they saw me talking with my mom. No, I'm just kidding. But there was a party and I don't know what happened, but... They just left me out in the cold on the big night. This was around the time that I discovered Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I waited till my birthday came around. Well, Christmas. And my dad bought me a tablet. It's like he knew what I wanted to do. My mom and I had... And my dad bought me Minecraft on it. What kind? Like, isn't that, like, the best parent you could ever ask for? My dad is my hero. And my grandma is, too. My grandma will always be my hero. So will my dad. I'm, like, tearing up right now. <laughs> But times were still hitting hard on me right now. I still didn't smile and jump and shout like I used to. I never laughed at pe people's jokes. And people started bullying me. They knew I was easy to pick on. I told one of, I told a so-called friend of mine what was going on in my life and told her that it was a secret and not to tell anyone. Well, she told it to everyone. And people found it easy to pick on me for that. What is that supposed to be? They would laugh at me and say LOL whenever I walked by. Or LOL, as they called it. They would call me a baby when I... They would call me a baby sometimes. And I started, and I just kept playing Minecraft. I have no idea what this is. Dang it! I just settled back down to Minecraft, and I don't know why, but I just suddenly fell into a dark stage. Kind of a dark stage, kind of not, but I stopped doing all that stuff that I enjoyed. I started reading weird books. Stop studying for tests. I 
stop studying for tests. I just kind of gave up. The bullies were still coming strong. What the heck is that? Their words were really hurtful. Freak. Loser. Stuff like that. Dumb. But then, I decided I'd come out of that shell. I never listen to them anymore. I would just laugh it off. Someone call me baby. I'd go, <laughs> that was a good one. Dumb, loser, you name it, I laughed it. You name it, I laughed at it. And that brought me to YouTube. Let's see if I have a good color. Here we go, that's good. That's really bad. I started making videos, and here I am today. And I want to thank you guys. Because you are the best friends. You're not bad influences on me. I think you guys are one of those, and I think all of you guys just accept me for who I am. And I thank you for that. Let me see if I can redo this part because it friggin' sucks. And I thank you for doing that. Each and every one of you that watches this video today, I thank you. I thank you for helping me get through hard times. Thank you for helping me get through hard times. Through the sad times, the happy times, the angry times, the bullies, you name it. Thank you. You name it, 